composing gloves here with Amped Studio. Today we're going to be diving into XY Beats, what it allows you to do, and an application of it, a demonstration of it being used in a track. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we are, we are in Amp Studio, and XY Beats, this thing down here is what we're interested in. But let's start at the very beginning here. So I've got a small track here, you can kind of ignore it for the time being, and we are just going to first load it up and hear it and see what it does. So I'm going to make a new track, so in yours you would just take your first track, and I'm going to call it Drums. And I'm going to solo it, and the reason I'm doing that is so that you don't hear the track, we're just looking at what's happening here. And I'm also going to MIDI arm it. And what this will do is it'll make it so that we can hear what the XY Beats is doing. If that's not on, you won't be able to hear it. So make sure you've got that on. Now on this track, what XY Beats does is it sends MIDI notes to a sound source, specifically notes that are meant to be drum notes. So we need to load up a sound source that can make drum sounds. So I'm going to come down here to the device chain, hit plus, and I'm going to go to Drumpler. And in the Drumpler, I'm going to choose Tech House. So now we have some drum sounds. It's going to be very nice. So now that we have our drum sounds all set up, what we are going to do is we're going to load up XY Beats and have it send MIDI to this Drumpler to make drum sounds. So to do that, all you do is you come up here to the top and then there's this little XY Beats column. Or not column, but icon. And you click that and it brings it up. And right, for, right from the get-go, so long as you're MIDI record enabled and you hit play, you'll be able to hear it start to do its thing. And you see here, I was moving this around and it changed the drum loop. Well, that's because each one of these is an individual MIDI drum loop. You have A, B, C, and D, and you can actually come in here and choose the drum loop you want to use by just... You could select a category, and once you have your category, you can come in and choose the, the loop. And if you want to hear just that loop, just put this, this box right in the corner, because this will play only A. Now, that's how you load kits up and how you load like different drum loops and things. Now, sometimes when we're mixing between two loops, the hi-hats or things are often a little complicated, and as a result, they can make the morphing not as smooth. And that's what this complexity does here. So we can actually reduce the complexity. And with a lower complexity, it will just be a, a simpler beat, usually just leaving the kick drum, the clap, the snare, and oftentimes taking out things like hi-hats and whatnot. So if we actually play this now, it's a way simpler beat. Now on these, we need to just we'll pump this up a bit. That's a bit too low. We could try a lower setting somewhere in the middle. And you get the idea. We're able to morph around and we can get some really cool drum variations this way. Now the complexity setting, uh, you want to be aware of it because this setting will affect it whether or not you're in full kit or in parts. But in parts, anything you do here, as soon as you switch back to full kit, doesn't matter. So in parts, you're actually able to come in and remove specific elements. Say I just don't want the hi-hat at all. I can come in here and just remove the hi-hat. And now the hi-hat's gone. You can take out the snare drum or the clap or whatever happens to be playing that role. So you can come in and adjust individual things. Now, if your complexity is really, really low, it won't matter what you do here if it's already been taken out by the complexity slider. So be aware of where your complexity slider is at. And that's the basics of the Drumpler. Let's go ahead and jump into actually using it. So first, I'm going to delete this track. And I'm also going to close the XY beats for a second. And right now, you'll notice track four. This is going to be our, our Drumpler, our drums. And it's going to have the XY beats on it. And I have a small track and I'm just going to let you hear it real quick and then we're going to add some additional drum grooves to it. It's already got some drums, but I'd like to add a little bit more right here at this part. So let's go ahead and hear it.
So a pretty nice thing is happening right here. This drum loop opens up over a filter. We're doing some automation. If I come in here and actually uh, look at it, you can see the automation that's happening. Uh, but there, there's things going on. And right here, it opens up the most. And I would like to bring in some additional drums here. I don't care much about what happens before. I think I really like the intro. Just right here, I want new stuff to come in. So on this track, on the drum track, I have a drum player loaded up. And it's also got the Tech House kit loaded up. And now we're just going to put some XY on this. And what I'm interested in doing, I already had this kind of little planned out. I was experimenting around is I want to go from B to D uh, right here. So right here, I want this to be B, and then I want to morph really quick over to D. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this MIDI armed. I'm going to unmute it, and I am going to go ahead and hit record and uh, let it go. Now, I want to give myself a little bit of room before this starts. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here to 7, and I'm going to start from right there. So let's really quick go ahead and do this. All right, so we've got it now. There's some hi-hats and things in there. I'm not the most excited about, so I'm probably going to do this again. But we can trim it up, move it in to right where it's supposed to be. And now we've got our drum part layered in super duper quick. Some nifty morphing going on. Let's go ahead and do it one more time just so you can sort of see the process. And I am this time going to reduce the complexity. In fact, let's audition this a little bit first. <music> And just so you know, I have a the reason we're going from B to D and why I'm not choosing to go from D to B. Uh, B is a much more subdued sound. It fits in a lot nicer with what's going on right here. And then D, this has happened enough to where D really fits a lot better right here. Just musically, it makes a lot more sense. And I like it a lot more with the lower complexity uh, without all those high hats and things. I feel like I've got that taken care of in another loop already. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room here. I'm going to come up to B, and I'm just going to hit record and do my thing. So right here, a couple of interesting things happened. So we have this symbol hit. Uh, let's go ahead and trim it up. And then let's go ahead and just sort of doctor it up a bit too. So this is typically what's going to happen is you're going to get a couple moments that are pretty cool. And then I have a, a weird thing right here where this, this sort of split up. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut around these and here. And I'm going to, whoops. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to clone this one over and then clone this one over one more time. I'm also going to trim this guy up so that there's nothing overlapping. So that's been taken care of and let's go ahead and move over a little bit and look at this over here. See right here, I think it would be cool to have another one of these moments. So I'm going to again grab the cut tool. I'm going to cut right here and right here. We'll take this bit right here. And let's come over here and, and sort of listen to where we think that would fit. Yeah, let's just repeat that section. And I'm gonna change where my cut's at. I'm gonna cut the first two beats. And I'm gonna cut the first two beats over here. And I'm gonna click off so I can select what I want. And then I'm going to alt click drag to move it over there. Now we're gonna have a nice up and down. The hi-hats disappear right here. So we may copy this over here, uh, but I kind of wanna listen to it. Maybe, it's, maybe it would be a cool variation. Okay, yeah, so this section right here, I'm going to pull this back. Uh, to like there or so 
and grab this guy let's um how much do we want we want to save the last two beats so we're going to come over here chop it right there alt click drag and just insert it let's just really quick preview that Yeah, and the little gap right there, that's nice. That's like a good way to end the phrase too. So there you have it. We've taken the XY beats, generated a little bit of morphing, gotten some much more organic drums than we typically would if you were going in and just doing loops one by one. Otherwise, you'd have to go in by hand and change every little thing, which I personally think is a great process as well. But it's pretty awesome to have such a fast, fluid workflow like this. So uh, let's go ahead and just listen to this. If you have any questions about this, let me know, subscribe, and have a blessed day.